Hello Chargers, it's Miss Sims here, your local assessment administrator ready to talk to you about the English One EOC. So if you're taking that test on Wednesday, April 28th, you need to stop what you're doing and listen up. A couple of things that we need to talk about. All right, so we're gonna do something a little bit different this time. We are going to start testing as promptly as we can, and then we're going to test all the way through. So we won't be stopping for a lunch break. You will have lunch after you finish testing. So I would recommend bringing a snack that you can eat before you start testing. We won't have snacks during testing because that just gets messy and ugh, crumbs and a Chromebook don't mix. However, you'll be able to go to lunch as soon as you're finished. Now, the testing assignments will be posted. Whatever room you're going to is going to be posted outside the cafeteria. Now, you remote kiddos, I haven't forgotten about you. You need to be looking for an email for me about how to check in and check out for your EOC test. And I will also be sending your room assignments to you at that time. So check your email starting on Monday. That's when everybody will know exactly where they are testing. Now, if you guys aren't testing and you have a class that's relocated, that will also be posted in a lot of places around the room, around the school. However, you also will get that information from your huddle teachers. So you will be in the know by the time Wednesday rolls around. Please, if you are a remote kiddo, bring your district issued device. Now, if you don't use a district issued device, no worries, we'll have one for you, but make sure that if you do have one, you bring it and guys, Make sure your computers are fully charged the night before. Plug them in before you get that good night's sleep that I know you're gonna get before you take your EOC test. All right, good luck. See you Wednesday. Hello, who would? She's Riley Maxwell. And she's Hallie Gull. And, and here's, here's what's, what's happening, happening at HMS. HMS. Friday is the last asynchronous day. Ever. We'll miss you out of sync days. The soccer teams take on Tidwell Thursday. Boys travel with the Tidwell while girls play at Central. Did you miss out on the New York trip this year? Are you an eighth grader who just can't imagine next year without people like Coke, Ocampo, Mejia, Suarez, or Nevitt in your life? Next year's New York City trip will be March 12th through 15th and is open to 7th, 8th, and 9th graders. See Miss Coke for details. Wednesday is the next color out day. Make sure you get your house gear in, that wa in the wash this weekend so you can support your house. Wrestling returns to action Friday at Keller High School. And that's the news. Here's, Here's what, what else is happening, happening at HMS. I'm Sophie Menchaca from Hillwood TV in room 202 as a crime has just been reported. Authorities say that the victim was just attending a Hillwood Comic Con. I'm here, so I'm here with Detective Christmas. Can you tell us anything about the crime at this time? Well, right now all we know is that he was found by his roommate, uh, Daryl, and he appears to have suffered a stab wound that appeared to be fatal. And there's a bunch of random comic books and stuff thrown all around the room. We had a few fingerprints and we have a couple other people of interest that we are trying to interview but at this time we don't really know what actually happened with Paul uh, with Timothy because his name is Timothy <laughs> so the perpetrator is still at large yes he is we have not captured him or really narrowed down our suspects to the actual you know who we think who did it yet or who would is the who would student body in danger I think only if you have the comic book or whatever that the person was looking for. Do any of the students appear sus? Well, we do have a list of you know interesting people or 
our prime people and there's a, a Vicky and which is a little sister of Daryl the gentleman who found Vic, uh, Timothy and then there's another um, Rick the comic book store owner he's on our you know people to investigate list so yes we do have a few suspects that we are interviewing and you know just trying to see see what happened if you have any tips that can help the Hollywood police, uh, please email gwen.christmas at kellerisd.net. I'm Sophie Menchaca, and this is Hillwood TV. When day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never-ending shade? Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. When day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. A candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. In the right light, at the right time, everything is extraordinary. Happiness can be found in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. For there is always light if only we're brave enough to see it. If, if only we're brave enough to be it. All it takes is one, be the light.